Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you happen to be on this mesmerizing world we call Earth, I truly hope you are having a gargantuan day, even night, wherever you're located. Welcome to my channel on 3D Topics. Today, I'm dealing with meshes, particularly hair particles of meshes. So, basically, every 3D program, 3D sweep has hair particles. I'm dealing with meshes. So, it's not just a Bender exclusive, but the only difference is in, in every software package, every suite, you know, the hair particles uh, application different, located in different spots. But if you want to come for ideas, I welcome you to stay. And I'm only talking about my journey with hair particles. I've recently, I'm going to say it again, I've recently discovered the value of hair particles. If you're dealing with Blender or probably any other 3D packages, you know, we've seen artists, many artist scales, but very few have dealt with animals. And in my journey with hair particles, I have discovered, hey, don't do the hard stuff first. Don't go fooling with hair, with women hair, especially my ethnic group. The ethnic group that I come from, them ladies, they, they really style their hair in different styles. And the men too. So I figured before I handle the humans, let me go to nature's creatures and try to deal with them. So remember, as I said before, I'm new to hair particles. I'm not no bona fide pro. I haven't even been doing it one month yet. So that's how new I am to it. Not even one month under my belt. So stay with me. Bear with me as I journey into the hair particles. And while I'm journeying, I like to show what I know in case it can inspire others, especially the new beginners. So let's jump right in. Here's the star of the show for the day. The star of the show for the day is a giraffe. I made an attempt to make a, like I said, a simple giraffe. Here we go now. My simple giraffe. Let me zoom out. See? A simple giraffe shape. You know, to approximate it. Nothing fancy. But to let people know that I can, I do got a little bit of scales. A little bit. All right. So I did that. So I took it from there, then I took it here as my polished version right here. Here's my version with the uh, the hair stuff on there. I made an attempt. It don't look too bad, but I see remember I said I'm new at it, so don't kill me. I'm new at it, but for the most part, I've never seen people use hair particles the way I've been using it. You see, I have it in different colors you know the most hair particles that we mostly see on youtube the hair is one color we get it we get a little video of our hair particles the hair one color no at least i diversified it i have multiple hair particles on my little uh giraffe and i discovered something on my giraffe too when you do have hair particles when you're making animals you know most animals don't have no wavy fur some do so when you first make the particles don't even, I'm not even going to try to manipulate it. This time, I'm just going to skip over all that. That's what I did in my other little series. But I guess for my poodle, I had to I had to do it there. Because the poodle got different textures of hair on it. Like, it got a fluffy tail. I had to do with that. Something like wavy. But right here is a good representation. So let me give it to him. And bring back just a wrap. And, be, and we'll begin our journey into how to make a wrap. I can hide stuff now. I can hide this. I can hide this. The first thing I did for my giraffe, I went down here to the materials and gave myself some color. As you see right here, I have a color, skin, which is this brownish color. I gave another color, white. As you saw on my giraffe, the foot was white, tan. Some of the fur was tan, and the darker portion was brown. So, uh, so I gave myself at least four different colors. Then next, you should go to edit mode. 
And as you can see right here, I subdivided my uh, I subdivided my uh my my giraffe because I'm going to use uh vertex groups. When you use hair particles, sometimes sometimes when it's just one color, you may use one paint. Only if it's one color. But if you have a myriad of different colors, a myriad of different sections, then you will use vertex groups. So let me go. I'm in edit mode now. Let me see if I got my vertex group set up. Select. Yes, I got I got it set up even for this one. White. Select. Nope, I don't have it for white. Let me check for my skin, my tan. I don't have it for that. And for brown, no selections. I only have it selected for okay, white, and that's even wrong. So I'm gonna deselect this. Deselect it. Select, deselect. The white supposed to be near, down here near the, his foot parts. Select. Now you can either use lasso select. I guess I should use lasso select for this. I can grab all this foot stuff right here. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm a lasso select this bottom part. Let me lift it up some. But uh, it don't matter. I can use lasso collect. Well, I, I like to use the C key. The circle select, that's my favorite, really. See, the lag so is sort of clumsy. You got to start the bottom, then work your way up, and come across. Okay. That wasn't bad for lasso select. Let me go around and do my other stuff. I want to make the foot parts white. I'm going to hit C key, my favorite for this. I got all that. All this. All this. And also, while you're doing this, you should have. Don't do the whole thing. Do a portion of the time. You see, because sometimes when you're doing this, your vertex groups may not. It, it may not take. So I'm, I'm gonna assign it right now. Assign. Click off. Select. You see that? It didn't take. I don't know why. Maybe I should get rid of a. Uh, what color was that? I'm gonna get rid of skin. I'm gonna delete it. Oh, I can't. Can I? Can I? Oh, you can't do it in edit mode. I'm gonna go back to white again. Select. Let me just do this. One. I'm gonna last. So select. Wait, wait. I'm gonna I'm just gonna hit my C key. I love that far better. Select all this. And before I move on, I'm just going to sign it. Click out. So, okay, good. It's working. So remember that, people. Do a little bit at a time. Then select it. And I don't have to do all of this stuff. Assign. Click out. Select. All right, it took. I do the back. Oh, yeah, I got. I can do the back of all of them. Now I guess lasso select will probably help here. Lasso select all of this. But I'm not that good at lasso select. You see? Okay. Let's see. Okay, assign. Click out. Select it. Okay, good. So we got the white done. And this is gonna be the most tedious part of it. Using the lasso select. I'm gonna leave, I'm not even gonna mess with this part right here. I'm gonna hide everything. So I did. Let me click back on it. Whoa! Oh, I made the hoover right. I didn't want that. I'll just leave it alone. Cause I'm, I'm still in my. Oh, I know why. I'm still in material mode. See, I have to be in object data. 
Let me go put the object data. Let me see if I can assign it without no hassle. I should, I should deselect. No, oh, I'm gonna say select. Okay, so I got everything I wanted. This is what I had earlier. I hope it worked for all of them. So I'm, I'm in data object mode. So that's have to be for your um vertex groups. I was in material mode earlier. Sorry about that, but you know how there's so many buttons on here. Brown, select. Okay, good. So, because my original one is carrying over because it's just a copy. My original is just a copy of this. So, this is a copy of my original. Okay, light brown. Okay, good. All right, so good. I don't know why about that, but you have to do all this if you're making something with various colors, like a giraffe face with them different colors. All right, so that's good. Let's go back to object mode. Now here comes the here comes the heart of it. Let's let's go to the particle system. Click on plus. I'm gonna call it white. I'm gonna choose hair. Good, it's working. We slowly go down. I'm going to take it up to 3,000. Zap. My hair left. I put two tenths of a meter or 0.2. There. I can leave, cause now, since the hair is close to the body, I don't, I'm not going to be worrying about the segments and stuff that much. But if I'm doing human hair, I'll probably give it like a segment as a seven. Okay, so that looks good. I, I turn on hair dynamics. I don't really need it because you don't need it because you're not got giraffe hair. When it, it don't care if the wind is two miles an hour or fifty, the hair not moving much, or I'm not gonna be standing there to see it moving. You get my point. So I do that way. Let's go to render. I chose the color white, so we make it white. They are turned all white. A report display. I'm, I'm going to leave my strands alone because I don't care. I'm not going to be making elaborate hair, just simple hair. I just leave it alone. Children, I leave it on simple. For me, most people leave it on interpolated, but I'm leaving it on simple because, like, for all I know, that may help with the rendering process. I want to make my hair count 50. On my children display 50, so it's a lot of it. All right, so we can keep moving on. And what's next? I'm gonna leave all this other stuff alone for now. I want to come down here to vertex groups. Most people leave it on, uh, they choose density, but I'm gonna tell you why I don't choose it. I'm gonna tell you why. So let's look at this. Let's look on here closely. Basically, all my hair is the same length. Basically, or maybe it's in different numbers, especially up in here. I like to choose length because that that makes the length more variable. Right. For the most part, you see right here, different lengths, different lengths. Especially over here, you see different lengths. Let me go back and put it on density. Look up in this part right here, density. White. You see everything look almost the same. But you know the hair different spot. That's why it looks like it's some longer, some shorter. But I like to put it on length because it makes the hair variable length. Okay, that looks good. All right. Now this is the part I discovered. Oh, one more thing too. Let me see. I can hide this. I'm going to be doing that too. I'm going to hide this. Oh, I hit it again. Before I start getting all elaborate and involved, I'm just going to go back to my uh particle edit for each hair. I'm going to do this particle edit. I don't know why the hair on the whole body. Let's go back to uh object particle edit. I guess. I'm just going to wipe out that feet part. I'm going to choose comb. 
Yeah, and you want a large comb. Cause that, a large comb. Large comb. Oh. Comb it down. Turn it around. And that's going to comb it all down. I want to try to get the head to be close to this body, if I can. That's what I want to do. I want to make the head as close as much to the body as I, I can get it. Let's go back. Okay, it looks like it's getting close to the body somewhat. All right, and then before I go on, if you want to, you see right here, you can close up some of these little patches right here. You don't have to, but yeah, I guess for an animal, you better because if it has severe patchy spots, then you think something is diseased. So let's go back to uh particle edit. I'm gonna choose you know like the add or the little plus add. And you can just come right here, click, 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 click. Now I wish the hair would follow the other hair. I'm just gonna throw some more hair in there. Then I'm gonna try to comb it down. Oops, I moved. I wanted it close to the body. I wish I had a command to make the hair cling to the body, but unfortunately don't. Uh, so you see, like I'm taking a, a little part at a time. Let me go back. Let me see that. I'm not going to worry about scaling to the... Because it's just a demonstration. So I shouldn't kill myself trying to get the hair to the body. It's just a demo. If I do it for some, then you get the idea that I can really do it if I wanted to. Okay, so there's no hair over here. So I want to go back to... So, so, so remember this. When you put hair... Yeah. Because this object is large too. See, if it was a small human head, it probably would cover everything. The larger your object is, the more uh, the more gaps and holes it may be there. So you may have to fill them in like I'm filling it in now. Let's throw some in there. Throw more. And I'm not going to worry about all the other legs. I'll let you do that. I'll comb it. I got it on comb, don't I? Oh, calm it down. I'll make it larger and get it out the way quicker. Calm it all down. Let's see. Okay, that's that's believable. They don't have to be completely calm. I mean, they don't have to be completely hair ridden. So you got the idea how to handle the other legs. I, I don't want to hold nobody up taking all day with this stuff. The same thing I did for this leg. You can go around to the other legs and add more hair to them. I just want to move forward. All right. When object mode, I'm on white. Now I can close white for now. I take it off. I want to add another particle. I'll call this uh, brown. And you see, I'm naming the particles in conjunction with my colors. From vertex, when I did a vertex to call it brown, particle system, I call it brown. So I don't confuse myself with all them different names. So I'm on object mode. I'm still in my particle system. I go to my emissions. I make it 3,000. Now be careful about this. The more you make this, the higher you make this, it may slow your machine down. I'm not using the I-5. When you go to the children, when I was told, you can give the children as much as you want. It will not slow them down. Let me go to uh, render. Oh, put it on hair. I go to render. I want to put it on uh, brown. There we go. Let's go back to our missions. Remember, I gave it two tenths. There we go. I want to go to vertex groups. I want to choose length. I want my color to be brown.
Uh -huh. I put white on and see how this looks. That's white. It should look dark. It should look more heavier than this. Uh, oh, I didn't put the children on. Yeah. So the children, simple. Okay, yeah, that's what they are. That's how it should look. I want to put it to like 30. Remember, you can make the, the children, you can make it as high as you want to. It will not affect the mimic because the the children are just a copy of the hair. Whatever, if it's 10 hairs, each hair get 10 children, which make 100 hairs to the human eye. I'll put it on 30. You can go high. Okay, that's what I want. That's what I want right there. So those are the spot on my little camera. I'm going to turn off white to keep it simple for my, for my eyes. Go ahead and turn off white. I just want to do one color at a time. I can go to my particle system. I, I got it sort of large. I got it sort of large. I want to make my circle large as possible. Like that. Then I just can color it. Just bring it down. You see, the larger your sphere, the circle is, the more areas you can affect quickly. Okay. I do all of that. Let me go around. I have all that in another direction. I can make the head go another direction. Um, I can make this side go a different direction. I'm gonna get the butt. I hope it's close. I can get the head underneath the head. Okay. Let's go back to object mode. Okay, most of us look like it's close to the body. Can't get everything. I ain't gonna cry. Yeah, most of us close to the body. See, that's what's that's that's what I said. You know, part, I got a lot of effects, but I just with the animals. Y'all don't need to worry about all them special effects. I just can leave it alone. That's close to the body. Now I got white and that. Now, I'm just going to do the last part. I'm going to call this light brown. Light brown. Like I said. All my colors matching up. My color called light brown. The vertex groups called light brown. And my particles called light brown. No confusion. No confusion. I'm on my particles. On my, and you see, I'm, and I'm turning off the particles I don't need. That may be the most important thing. If I don't need it, I turn it off. So I don't get myself all confused. 3,000. I'm going to put it on hair. I want my hair length to be two tenths of a meter. And there we go. And let's cover all the brown part. Render. I want to put on light brown. Well, I can put it on tan for this. So I did it earlier. But it, it's already tan. Like that. I, I made the, fur, the, 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 the dominant color the color of the, of the, of the beast or the animal. So that's nice. I report display. Don't have to worry about that because I'm not making human hair. My children, I went on simple. See, there we go, a lot of hair. And for this, I may have to come back and fill this in because it may have a lot of gaps here. Because 3,000 may not be big, but I may have, I'm going to have to up the children count. So let's go. I want to try to flatten this to the body. Particle. Even. The lot when it's large, it can it can take easily flat into the body like it is now. And I can swing it around, go to different directions. Swing it, make it go different. Different. Swing it. Yeah, that's it. It's clinging to the body. Get the head part. Get that face. Oops, I got it. I'll make it to adjust some of it. 
but it's face I may have to hit F scale it down and just get the little area right here okay it's clinging to the body little nose part I don't got to worry about that over here this little area right here get that the head I'll make it lost for that whole area F again Make it large. Let's swing it. And, and, it, and the top part, I do the same thing. I, I, I make it sort of wavy, like like that. Okay, look like everything is close to the body. Now let's go back to uh. uh okay, look like it's close to. The, okay, I got some hair right on it. Yeah, cause I didn't get inside. I didn't get that that inside leg. See right here, you see how it look? So I want to go, I want to get, I want to make it small just to get the little area right there with no hassle. Drag it to the body. Go all the way down. Bring this up. Drag, try to swing it into the body. Well, that side looks good. See this back leg? Swing it into the body over here. The butt, swing that to the body some. Okay, everything else looks like it's close to the body. You know, some things, okay, this face. I need a face alone. Swing all that to the body as much as possible. Okay, it looks like it's close to the body. Yep, it looks like it's close to the body. And you see it's got a lot of little gappy areas in there. Right up in that neck. I said in real life, if it looked like that, you would think the, the animal disease. So let's go back. Put some hair there. Particle. Put the add key. And just let's hit the let's hit the left mouse button. Let me zoom in so I can see if I see my hair. Yeah. And then you got if you want the hair to definitely appear. I have to drag my mouse down. I just can't click. So to get the head to appear, you have to click and move around. Move around. That looks good. Let's go back and see how the neck look now. It's coming along. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh good. That looks good. I can go back. Try to flatten into the body. I wish it would do that. See. Oh, it is. Okay, is it flattened? No. So I'm going to flatten it to the body. Oh, it's still on that. I got to comb it. Flatten it to the body. Let's go back and take a look at it. Okay, it's like it's flattened to the body. Everything is flattened to the body. See, but this neck right here, it looks like it got mange. Like it got mange on it. So. And then I think I'm, I'm gonna end it right here because I don't have to keep going on. You get the picture how how to do this. If you got the picture, if it got bald spots, let's go back and hit that plus, the add, left click and drag it down, and then it starts. So you start. It's, you see, it's adding the hair. Now left click and just drag it down. Let's go back to object, and you see it got the hair right up there. It got, it got a lot of it. Let me go back to this box right here. You see. The base of the neck, I got it on the plus, left click, drag it down, or I can swivel it around, swirl it around. Now it's adding the hair. Let's go back. And there, it looks like a good neck, a wonderful neck. I wonder if I should finish this here, if I can get it more realistic. See, right over here. Oh my God, definitely this part right here. He looked diseased. Look at it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back here. Part of etiquette. See, left click, drag it around. Okay, yes, yeah, a, a lot of hair opinion. Drag it around, drag it. Let's go back to object mode. Okay, that section look good now. I got it. Don't gotta be okay, but see, it's sticking out. So I gotta go back in there, comb it, and that's the only hassle when you add hair. You always gotta comb it, and that's like that's like the hair is thick right there. If you want to, you can cut it, 
But I'm not in no mood to cut it. I'm happy with I just want to drag it to the body. Object. It looks okay, that looks good. And I'm gonna drop it right there, people, because you know what you have to do if you want to make more corrections to it. I'm now gonna bring it all back together. There we go. And there we go. Our makeshift zebra. Using the hair. Part. Oh, yeah. Like, like that back. Definitely like a zebra. And if you can't see some of it, because you know, when I thicken the hair, I cannot see the hair on my back. You may have to go up here to object mode, go to particle. You may have to cut some of this stuff out. I'll make it, I'm hit F, make it very small. Hit the plus sign. Wherever I see hair, I can just click on it and see it disappearing. Wherever I see hair, click. I did too much there. Wherever I see hair, click. Hair, click. Hair and hair, click. And click. And then we go back. And now, so you see that the hair is appearing. I'm going to go back and do a little bit more particles. I want to make it smaller. Click a little bit more. Click here. Click in here. Click a little bit more here. There. And there it, look, it looks more dominant now. So you got the idea, people. What to do. So thank you for stopping by. And our journey, my journey, into using hair particles. Remember, it's not used much. But I'm going to use it. Because I may, I may start being in love with making little animals now. When you beginners, you all see that I'm a person who keep pushing forward. I keep pushing. So you keep pushing. Till next time, then the family, three family, peace.